Yay, we're finally getting ready to hit the road again. It's always strange when we have a bit of time in between traveling. This time around it was because of vacation and then family visits and stuff. So we're ready. There's a puppy dog in here, I bet, that's freaking out. Here she is. Doing the checklist. Ready to roll. Part of our checklist involves mounting cameras. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Did you do a pull check? I did. Just waiting to get four low. It's like he's coming right at us. I'm gonna come way out by it, but I won't hit him. at a rest stop and something that I think a lot of non RVers don't realize is that like when you park in a spot like that like they did that's meant for RVs and semis you're taking up spaces for semi trucks and RVers when they, there's limited space for parking for large rigs like us we wanted to pull up and get a little bit more level but we couldn't because they were they were here Definitely want some gloves. See how nasty these are? Yeah. It's pretty much just from these things. Ew. He's got to answer a few questions here. Skipping deck. I don't need to catch the bears. <laughs> <laughs> Your truck does have to have the wide nozzle to be able to take that. It's not a normal gas station pump. And it feels fast, typically. We save $17.52 on this fill-up. For more information on the fuel card that we use, check the description below for a link to more details. You probably want to know where we're going. Daisy does. Daisy know where we're going? <laughs> she doesn't know. It's always home. We're always home. <laughs> we're heading to a place called the Pinola. It's in, I think, Newland, North Carolina, Correct. which is just outside of, like, the Grandfather Mountain area. You're very close to the Blue Ridge Parkway to get there, so that's right. awesome. Right. So our plan is to check out Grandfather Mountain and do the Mile High Swinging Bridge and hopefully go on some motorcycle rides. And I also want to check out Banner Elk and Boone. And there's lots of hikes around that area as well. We are staying at, I think I already said, the Pinola. It's a, I think, motel and there's a, a RV park there. And something you're excited about? Tap room. Tap room. And I think they've got some other things on the grounds as well. And well, they, they do events food. and yeah. stuff. And then after that, we are going to Nashville. Never been. We did stay outside of Nashville once several years ago, but never really ventured into explore Nashville. First time we first time we met Phil and Stacy. That's right. He remembers some things. That's I see. Well, that's, that's the COE where Daisy took off. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. This road is uh, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my composure so I don't freak chat out, but I don't think I'm doing a very good job. I think it'd be awesome on the uh, motorcycle. Oh, yeah. But it's quite tight and curvy, and it's, it's really pretty, but it's very, very curvy. And we still have seven and a half miles to go. 
Does this say Blue Ridge Parkway coming up? Oh my gosh. <sighs> Even though the sign said 14.3, it just made me cringe a little bit. <laughs> Three quarters of a mile. Arrive at the Pinola on the right. Arriving at the Pinola on the right. Moving as the world spun round, but the daylight was coming close. It's all a little clear now. I've been patient, I've been waiting, never knowing if it's changing. Good job, baby. That last, that last stretch had to be a, <laughs> a doozy. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, this is such a cool little place to hang out in here. It's all lodgy. Okay, game plan. Game plan. We pulled in and looped right behind here. So we're here. Yeah, right. We got to go out back out to the road, down, and then down the side road. Right. And this is the back the first drive. side. Yeah, to the first entrance. Yes. Go down, past the bathhouse on our right, into the first road there, and then back into the last side on the right. And we're yeah. So once we get over to our site, then we'll assess that the site and mm -hmm. see exactly how you went to yeah, because one thing we have to do with back in sites is we got to think about if we can get the motorcycle out after or before right. the site. It looks like there's lots of flat green area according to this picture. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see how... Uh, what that really looks like. Yeah, we'll see how accurate that is. All right, here we go. Here we are. Oh, boy. Yee, this is... um. Okay, that. Yeah, a 376 would have a, time, a tough time here. Yeah, the kind of the toy boxes. Yeah. Oh man. I think that their check-in process should say they're in the big dip when you make that turn into onto that street. Yeah. I'm aiming for a holler in the hills of Appalachia. No, sir, you wouldn't know the name. It's prettier than heaven. It ain't got no other claims to fame. So we're gonna get out and look at the site, but it looks fairly straightforward that you're just gonna Yeah yeah, I'll cut it. Pull up and cut it. A little lumpy. It is very lumpy. I'll pull pretty much down that way, then back it straight. Okay. Up. I'm going to cut it pretty close here, but only to about here because I don't want trailer swing to hit that. Right. And plus, there's that dip, so you're trying to avoid that. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go up that far way as far as I can, kind of pull it down that way. All right. Back it but up. so, like usual, do you want me to tell you when the the trailer gets to here, no, or just keep it on the trailer swing for me? Okay. It's going to be tight. I'm sorry that I bet it all But in the words of Kenny Rogers, you gotta know when to fall Yeah, I've got the mailbox over here Do you want me to come and watch the mailbox right now, our, our trailer sling? We'll pull forward a little bit, I gotta get the truck over Let me get out of luck real quick Hey, babe, there's a tiny little branch that we're hitting, that, but but it's okay. There's no big branch. Just go slow. It's just a little one, but I think it'll be all right. Yeah, I need to get over to the pet driver's side a little more, I think. You can do that, but there's that dip up there. I think once you get in here, you're going to want to pull forward and get it closer to the driver's side, but you're doing good. I can still come back quite a bit. Yes, indeed. Perfect, straight back.
our new neighbor just told us that there's a rowdy family reunion going on in this campground right now. It's not rowdy at all right now, it's nice and quiet, so hopefully rowdy doesn't mean late night madness and late night noise, so we shall see. Come on, Daisy. We're gonna walk on this little path that goes all the way around the complex. Check it out. This must be the nature path portion of this little little path. Oh yeah. <laughs> Into the random woods. What's inside here? We don't know. But we're gonna find out. I think this is the tree house they call it, and then there's the tent sites are right here. There's some tent sites back here. Look how cool this is. It's nice that they have the raised platform. I only see one tent site. Oh, there's another tent site over there. They don't, they don't have too many RV sites, but that makes it nice, actually. I wonder how long this little path is. Looks like these three are for rent. So this class A here, this retro looking one, and then which other one? Then there's a tiny house. Oh. Quick talk, he says. Quick talk. Quick talk. <laughs> we are about to head out on Lucille to the Blue Ridge Parkway again. Again. Whole new section this time that we haven't been on. You saw us make it to Mount Mitchell the last time we were on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Mm -hmm. So we are further northeast of that part of the state. So we're just gonna head out, set our sights on like Blowing Rock area mm -hmm. or past Blowing Rock, but maybe stop at Blowing Rock. Well, you found at Blowing Rock, there's a place that has a scotch egg. Yeah. So we've got to try that. Yeah, Sixpence Pub. We actually ate at Sixpence Pub in Savannah, mm -hmm. but it's the same owners and they have one in Blowing Rock. We haven't had a good one since Maine. Since our, our only foodie, one. Our foodie tour. I tried to make them once and it was bad. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, we'll look back to the task at hand, <laughs> which is motorcycle ride. Let's go. Right now. I guess that's where we go up to when you pay the commission.
Lynn Cove Viaduct hugs the face of Grandfather Mountain and is recognized internationally as an engineering marvel. Completed in 1938 at a cost of almost $10 million, the viaduct is 1,243 feet long and was the last section of the Blue Ridge Parkway to be completed. It is also a highly photographed landmark. Before Blowing Rock was a bustling tourist destination, it was once home to the Catawba and Cherokee peoples. However, as increased settlement by European Americans became more and more prolific, many Native Americans were forced westward, resulting in an influx by the Scottish and Irish population by the mid-19th century. Are you guys leaving? Awesome. So we've made it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Made it to Blowing Rock. This I keep wanting to say, so nice. I keep wanting to say Bowling Rock, but it's not. It's Blowing Rock. Yes. This place looks really cute. Yeah, this is a neat little downtown area for sure. Like, it looks like a place that I'd like to come with, with your mom and go into the shops and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, probably, yeah. Because he's not real big on shops and stuff. I like antiques, because I am one.
we've made it to, to blowing rock. I want to say blow bowling. Bow, blah, blah. He, you know, he can't say anything. <laughs> blowing rock, according to their sign, is the oldest tourist attraction in North Carolina. 250 million years old? Yeah, I'm reading it right over there. 250 million years old. We're just going to go check it out. I know that this is not like a, a national park or anything. This is something you have to pay to go see. Yeah, just a city commercial kind of thing. Yeah. I'm not so, sure. sure who owns this, but we're going to give them money. We're, we're going to go, go see find it. out. Yeah. Oh, so here's that viaduct where we saw. Oh, yeah. And then, remember, we saw the. We yeah, saw we saw this. that. We saw this from the parkway. We saw that. Mount Mitchell was where we were. Oh, yeah, when we were in that, but near Asheville. Yeah. Who's the kitty cat? Oh, Grover. Sorry, Grover. Are you going to go outside? Wow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aww, Ruth. We're just killing all kinds of cats right in here. Oh my gosh. Babe. Look at that. Oh, wow. I know. That's a view. This is the more adventurous way. Let's do that. Ooh, la la, look what we got. I bet this is gorgeous in the fall because it's gorgeous right now. Ooh. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel all right. This whole trail is pretty cool. But can you wanna stay up with all night? You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel whole. They won't leave your side when you lose control. The ones that don't let you lose your soul. You gotta find your people. The ones that get the joke. To understand what you're saying for a word is smoke. We're at the top of some rock. I don't know if it's the actual blowing rock. I think I don't I think that's I think that's it right there. Yeah. I don't know why it's called Blowing Rock, though. I thought it would be like a, uh, almost like an Old Faithful. No. Blowing he something. He didn't, he didn't read it. He didn't read up on it. <laughs> it's it called? $9 to get in here and $7 for, if you have military or a senior discount. Mm hmm All you see is danger, trying to find what you love. Extreme trail. If we were dressed for hiking, I would do that. Or at least attempt it. You gotta find your people, then you'll find yourself. You gotta find your people that'll call your blood. Who ride along when the road is rough. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel equal. They pick you up and don't put you down. Help you find your way in the lost and found In a world full of strangers You don't know who to trust All you see is danger Trying to find what you lost You can't go it alone Everybody needs help You gotta find your people Then you'll find yourself that understand you, the ones that lend a hand to you, the ones that don't demand anything from you. You gotta find your people, the ones that make you feel all right, that tell you the truth and wish you well. You gotta find your people, then you'll find yourself. I'm not shopping. You gotta find your people, then you'll find yourself. I'm doing video. Oh, hey. You know, Blowing Rock, that whole part, that whole part of the ride reminded me more of like Tahoe. Yeah, I had a very tired like of We were in, in North Carolina for a little bit. It was kind of strange and no real reason why. 
Yeah, just it was feel. beautiful. It's be absolutely beautiful, and everything is just, you can tell it's probably a very expensive area. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah that was a very fun ride, and it wasn't very long, and the Blue Ridge is only two miles away. Yeah. It wasn't quite as scenic as when we were north of Asheville, mm -hmm. so I think the section south of here is probably our favorite, but yeah. still pretty nice. Yeah. Let's go see that puppy. Oh, the puppy head. Oh, there's a tumor. Hi, Blue Brigade. Hi, Blue Brigade. <laughs> hey, Daisy. What are you doing? Oh, boy. Penny. Did you miss us? Do you want to go potty? Come on. Go on, go do your thing. What a cute little puppy. Where are you going? Where are you going? Go pee. Go pee. This way, Daisy. Over this way. Go pee, then you go see mommy. Go. <laughs>